Hello and welcome to Samurai with me, John. And today we're going to be doing a bit of a review of the Dolphin Pro 3. So we're going to use, be using this, um, the Dolphin Pro Pro 3. I've had these since last year, and I do think this is a really, really still a really good option um, for this year. I know you know we have the Alpha Fly 3 and everything else that is that is out, and no doubt the Dolphin Pro 4. But if you can get your pair of hands on a on a three, um, still really, really good. That power run PB is absolutely excellent on this shoe. Um, colorway, I love this, is really, really good. Um, so let's see if I can do or actually finish a 10K and then see what we do. So see you soon. So the one thing I will say about these Indorphin Pro 3s straight off the bat is that they are very, very comfortable. Um, that power on PB foam is really, really good. You know, it does feel, it does feel soft. Um, they do feel really, really springy. Um, I like the thinness of the upper. The grip, the grip's not too bad. Um, the grip's pretty good. I don't know how good it's gonna be today because considering it is minus two or three outside today. There is no snow, uh, it's gonna be cold. Um, so I'm wearing my sort of longer, long socks today as well. And um, let's see how we, how we do. Okay, so we are looking at this Endorphin Pro 3 2. So it's taking it out on a run to come back, showered, and time to talk about this. The shoe now, the upper on the shoe is absolutely fantastic. It's kind of like um, fish um, scales on the, on the Pro 3. Um, this mesh seems to have this like sheen, and it, it, it literally is like a fish's um, scales, and it's um, really light. Um, the forefoot, uh, there's a there's quite a bit of the um, PB foam in the um, forefoot and transitions. Uh, so the upper, I really like the upper on this shoe. For me, it really really works. It's a mesh style upper with this shine, um, you know, it looks nice, but the most important thing about it is that it's really, really light. It's really, really comfortable. I took it out today, minus, minus three. Um, didn't really feel that cold. Um, the socks that I had on were quite thick anyway, but I just like, um, it's breathable. It's flexible, um, it dissipates the heat really, really well. Uh, the lockdown feel of the shoe is, is really, really good. So I think if you have a wide foot, I think you may struggle with the fit of the shoe. For me, it's absolutely perfect. Uh, it's true to size, a size nine. Uh, the heel counter in the back is, is I think it's perfect for um, a 
longer run shoe from what this is supposed to do i think there's there's enough there's enough in the heel i mean my favorite heel is the alpha fly um but i think this is nearly as good there's kind of just enough enough there in the back and there's like a little flare in there as well that that really supports um the heel um uh, the tongue as well uh the gusted tongue is i think it's really fantastic actually um it's just it, it's it's not it's just it's just this 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 little bit here and it feels like it's um there's enough it's taut to the point where it, it doesn't it doesn't restrict the top of the foot it's just actually just perfectly positioned on the top of the foot it's really comfortable it doesn't slip everything keeps in place uh the laces are i i think are really good as well so this upper on this shoe is is absolutely up there with some of the best uh the midsole foam is power run pb there's a lot of it it's 38.5 in the back and 31 in front and there's definitely enough so if you midfoot strike in this shoe i think you'll get a lot out of this shoe as well even i think if you if you heel strike i think you'll be i think you'll be fine i think there's more i think this is probably more geared towards a midfoot uh to forefoot striker just purely because of the the width um i think for me um indicates that you know that that's where it kind of wants you to to hit but but heel strikes i think there's definitely enough in there that you'll absolutely be fine in this shoe the foam is that perfect combination i believe of um softness it's not too soft it's not like a a sc comp or something along those lines it's soft but springy at the same time you know it's 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 sort of like a combination of the 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 new balance foam um and uh the vaporfly uh foams um so i think it's more cushioned than zoomex foam <coughs> but it's not as soft as the new balance um foam so it's that it's 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 a really good combination foam and then when you combine the full length common plate in here speedroll tech plate in here i mean the the transition is absolutely great when you put your foot down it absolutely absolutely goes and if you just want to kind of sit back and just feel the groove in the shoe you can as well but it it, it, it can happily cruise it, it, it's it's a very underrated i think shoe and it does everything really really well um you know i don't necessarily think it's a shoe that necessarily excels at one particular thing you know for example you know if you ask me uh the the alpha fly for example um absolutely excels um at a longer pace you know that's what it's for uh, it does okay at a slower pace um it's a fast shoe but it's quite a it's, it, it 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 feels it feels heavy but the intended purpose of that alpha fly is to run um a longer race and that is and that is for me the alpha fly number one is the best at that but this is not too far behind it but it also can do the easy paces really really good it doesn't feel like it's flat you now we can do the mid paces really really well as well so this can actually do everything and that's what this is almost like is the alpha flyers and all that are really really good you know the adidas pro evolution evo evo two three four you know the 500 quid shoe you know and this is you know th this is this is the Porsche, you know, this is the, the absolute, you know, mainstay, you know, 
what this is you know you sometimes it will get overlooked but if you give it a chance you know you 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 find that actually it's better than a lot of the other others out there and you will enjoy this immensely so this is an absolutely fantastic shoe um, I think in some respects this shoe gets overlooked to how good this thing actually is so you know I've got the Vaporfly 2 I've tried the 3 Alpha Fly 1 um, which is still my favorite shoe I've not tried the 3 yet I would love to try the 3 but if anybody wants to send me a pair to try fantastic but even in 2024, this shoe, I, if you can, if you can pick, if you can pick this up, I would pick this up. I mean, what? I think I picked this pair up for 140 pounds, and that was last year. And I, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna try and pick up another pair of these because I think these are absolutely fantastic. So I took it out on a 10k to fast oh. pace, to, just to see what I could do, and very. Very surprised. Um, it felt really, really good. I incorporated some hills on, even on the uphill parts. This shoe really, really shines because of uh, the cushioning in here. Power Run PB is fantastic. I really enjoy it. It's it's bouncy, um, but not too much. I think it's it's the right side of soft. So it's that bouncy soft. It's, it's just that perfect for me personally and with that plate when you put the foot down it wants to go and even if you sort of ease back and and you sort of you're in your groove that again this is perfect for maintaining um that speed um as well so so what would i score the shoe i guess out of out of 10 um so for me i really enjoy the the upper i really enjoy the mesh even though it was cold today i didn't really feel it too much in the upper uh the gusseted tongue is is actually pretty nice it, it's 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 thin but it wraps around the foot and it's it is a really good tongue it doesn't tend to slip so the lockdown in the shoe is really really good as i say the upper is really really light um, you know, I would downside would say that if you have a wide foot, you may only think twice about this. Uh, the narrow um, toe box in the shoe could cause you an issue, but for me, it's absolutely fine. Um, the the laces are really good; they're a really good length. So the upper, all in all, is 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 really really good, and there's enough padding at the back. These have never rubbed, um, no slippage in the heel. So the upper is really, really good. Uh, the midsole, power run, PB, there's quite a lot of it in here. I think the implementation of the speed rail technology along with the, the, the foam itself, um, I think is absolutely brilliant. I think the foam in this is, is fantastic. I really, really enjoy the foam. So I love the implementation of the stack as well i do i do quite like the the height of the stack it is a higher stack shoe but in a really really good way it's quite planted to the floor the grip the grip's okay it can be a bit slick when it's wet um but for nine times out of ten um it's absolutely fine and as i say the the, the speed roll through the transition from front to back is fantastic especially when you especially as I'm a um, mid foot to four foot it's perfect absolutely perfect and as I say the transition is fantastic so as a score out of 10 for me personally I would give it a I'd give it a nine um, it does everything that I need it to do it's comfortable, it can do long runs, short runs, tempo runs. It can do, I think it can pretty much do everything. So even when you want to slow the pace down, a lot of these other shoes at a slower pace feel really, really dead and they don't really feel good, but this does. So any paces, 
shines at faster paces, really shines at fast paces. Um, long run shoe, the marathon shoe, the half marathon shoe. I just think it's an absolute can do everything shoe. So don't forget to like, favorite and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.